Uh, in the basement, fed through a hole in the wall and forced to go to the bathroom in a bucket. Now, tonight, only on 12, a Racine mother is defending the care of her son to 12 News' Christina Palladino. Laurel Allen and her grandson, 23 year old James Allen, share a quiet moment outside her apartment complex Wednesday evening. James, who suffers from special needs, is now living with Laurel after she called Racine police to report what she says is abusive living conditions at his own mother's house. They were feeding him through a hole in the wall or the ceiling, I don't know what, but there were like hundreds of nails around. A certain area that they didn't want him escaping. According to this criminal complaint, Laurel told police James had been locked in a basement and shocked with a dog collar. Police interviewed the boy. He said when he wants to brush his teeth or wash his face, he has to knock on the door and someone would let him out. Police say there was no way out, a bucket to go to the bathroom in, and he was sleeping on a dirty mattress. His own mother, Terry Allen, tells me none of those allegations are true. He would sleep down there, yeah, but he wasn't a prisoner. He was, you know, he'd come upstairs for his meals and to go to the bathroom. And Terry tells me because of her son's disabilities, he could not control himself towards her, and that's why she locked him in the basement overnight. He could get extremely violent. But James's grandmother says the only reason her grandson would act out is because of the abusive environment he lived in. They had the door locked. He was going to the bathroom in buckets. Now, Terry tells me she plans on fighting the charges against her and has a court appearance next week. If convicted, she faces three years in prison. Live in the newsroom, Christina Palladino, WISN 12 News. All right.